In an earlier video, I covered the unused life cycle mural, a piece of art depicting what would appear to be three astronauts who are involved in what may be some form of self-sacrifice, allowing themselves to become incubators for alien chestbursters. The work in question was created for Alien in 1979, yet when I look at the humanoid figures in the image, especially in its second revision, it's hard not to see similarities between the mural's astronauts and the engineers of Prometheus. The unused mural in question was done by none other than the original Alien designer H.R. Giger and was meant to be staged somewhere in an alien pyramid on LV-426. Due to budget and time constraints, the pyramid would later be removed from the film, with its contents then moved into the derelict vessel, causing the placement of the mural to be scrapped. However, the pyramid concept would return to the franchise decades later in Prometheus. There are two different versions of the life cycle mural, with the main change being the shape of the heads of the astronauts in the image. The original mural featured humanoids with heads shaped like our own, while the later one had the heads elongated similar to the shape of the head of the space jockey. When we examine the astronaut suits more closely and then compare them with the pressure suits of the engineers in Prometheus, they are definitely similar with their biomechanical design. For all we know, Giger may well have been trying to illustrate just what the space jockeys would look like when not attached to the pilot chair of the derelict spacecraft. The astronauts would even have what may be air tubes coming from their helmets, similar to the tubes on the masks of the engineers, tubes meant to explain away the elephantine look of the jockey. Alien writer Dan O'Bannon had this to say about the space jockey race. In my script, the pilot was a space-going race that landed on the planet and had been wiped out by whatever was there. And now the Earthmen come along and they endanger themselves in the same way. Now with the eggs moved from the alien pyramid into the derelict itself, the motives of the jockeys become unclear. Did they find the eggs on the moon and load them into the ship, or did they bring the eggs with them, possibly even creating them? This one script change would open the door to the modern engineers. Leading us to Prometheus, where the jockeys are now engineers who created or found and modified the alien strain. Is it possible then that this idea that the engineers could be the fathers of the xenomorph was over 40 years old and was actually from the mind of H.R. Giger? After all, the astronauts or engineers in the mural are giving themselves freely to the xenomorph. Now much of the prequels are actually from ideas and unused concepts of Alien and its sequels, yet I wonder if anyone else saw this and thought that the engineers, or in the very least, unseated space jockeys, were around long ago and that the idea of them either creating, worshipping, or fearing the alien is nothing new. I would also mention that the big alien stretched out over the top of the life cycle mural could very well be Giger's take on the first alien queen and could be yet another futuristic vision for the franchise. So what do you guys think about this? Are the astronauts in the mural engineers or in the very least the inspiration for them? Could it be that the idea of aliens being created by space jockeys has its origin not in Prometheus, but instead in this unused piece of art that is over 40 years old? I'd love to hear your thoughts and ideas on this in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.